in the first part of your life, you study hard, you get a good job, you work hard, then your mid-30s or mid-40s, you think, ah, now I can take it easy. I've made it in life. Correct? Wrong. The moment you think that, you're smack right in your comfort zone. And then that's when you stop learning and you stop growing. And your life will just go downhill from there. Hi everyone, I'm Fran, one half of the Corporate Breakout Couple. Together with my husband John, we broke out of the Corporate Red Race in the year 2020 at the age of 40 years old. We never stop learning and we continuously keep pushing ourselves out of our comfort zones. And in the pursuit of breaking out of corporate, we learn so much more than all our corporate years combined all together. In today's video, we'll talk about the growth and decay of life. Now, why is this topic important? It's important because as human beings, we need to keep evolving and growing. Otherwise, we are already dying even before our hearts actually stop beating. Let's talk about decay first. When does decay usually happen? It happens when something loses energy and stops growing. I'm currently surrounded by nature as I'm in the botanical gardens in Penang. So let's take a plant or a tree for example. When a tree reaches maturity, it starts the decaying process. We just don't see the decaying process with our eyes until it's too late. For a tree, the decaying process can take up to hundreds of years. Now as humans, do we have that kind of luxury of time? So when does a human start decaying? For humans, we have the decay of the mind, body and emotions. The body is the most obvious one, right? It's the most visible. We start to grow old, we have wrinkles, we lose muscle mass and diseases start creeping in. The decay of the mind happens when we are not mentally stimulated, either at work or in life. This usually happens when we are in our 30s and 40s, when we think we know everything and we stop learning and progressing and we are just in cruise mode. And as we reach our 50s and beyond, it just gathers speed and it goes downhill really fast as the years go by. Scary, huh? What about our emotions? Have you ever interacted with or bumped into one of those grumpy aunties and uncles out there? They always seem to have a very moody face and grumpy attitude. You know who I'm talking about? For them, life is always very negative and yeah, emotions are always very low. You know, the whole world is out to get them. Life is so unfair and so forth. You know, it's so hard to get them to smile or even laugh. So what is growth? Growth happens when we put our energy and focus into building something. We are in creation mode. For our bodies, it means eating well, sleeping well, exercising, keeping our limbs nimble, drinking lots of water and making sure that there's healthy oxygen flow throughout our bodies by practicing breathing exercises. Building muscles is so important as muscles allows us to move freely and keeps our body strong. You know, John and I, we join a gym and there's a 60-year-old uncle that is so healthy. He can do headstands, handstands, crunches on a daily basis and he carries weights way heavier than John and I. And he's the epitome of health. What about our minds? To keep our minds alert, be in constant creation mode. You know, staying at home, watching TV all day is a surefire way to decay your mind the fastest. This is the reason why John and I are always thinking of new ideas, creating new videos on YouTube and having stimulating conversations with like-minded people. We are also very up to date with global news and trends. We are constantly learning and practicing new things to keep our minds active and engaged. When was the last time you used your mind to create something for your life other than just work? For example, think of different ways to generate income, different ways to invest or start a business. Create passive income which means you make money while you sleep. How about early retirement and relocating to a different country? My guess is your mind comes up with more excuses than possibilities. That's because you're very used to thinking small and playing small and being in the comfort zone. That's decay, my friend. Finally, let's talk about growth in our emotions. How do we grow that? By being in a constant state of gratitude. 
by being grateful for the big things and little things in life by being grateful that you're alive and watching this video by appreciating every breath that you take your body sends out positive signals to your brain thus making you feel good and it's virtually impossible to be in a bad mood gratitude is the attitude that we should practice all the time it's free and it puts you in a great mood all the time I sincerely hope that you guys take value away from this video. If you've been following us for a while now, you would realize that we are not the typical YouTuber that gives out how-to videos only. We are passionate about self-awareness and self-development and we want to impart these lessons to you guys because life is already all about how-tos and it is meaningless if you don't put meaning into life. Please share this video to all your friends and family, like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video. Bye!